how he's going. This is one that's from the smaller people out of the world and how to deal with a, a larger human being in a grappling sport. I'm only about, what is it, five foot ten, maybe? A metre seventy-five? <laughs> Good brother. <laughs> Look at that's Absolutely massive. <laughs> dealing with small people when you're grappling, it's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so, so this is this is how when I'm fighting Dave and we fight every night three, four times and this is a whole lot of great ginger yeti to fight and so this is how I have to do it. I have to do it like this otherwise I get absolutely destroyed. First point. Dave here is a is a whatever side he wants to fight. So now, when he's gripping like this over the top, and he's breaking me down, now I am already shorter than my short self, which is no use to me at all. So the first thing I do, is if I know that he's going for the top, I either post first and don't let him have it, or if he gets here, that I have, this is my first part, before even I even consider the throw, is to get myself to a, a better position where I'm actually upright. Now the thing is, is that like, you can take it two ways. You can go, right, well if he's going up top, well why don't I just go down below and lift? Which is possible, yeah, that's fair. But the problem is, is that if you don't go in all the way when you're going low, you just ended up in a position where I'm down here and now Dave's got all the weight and I can do absolutely nothing. So take that in consideration that if you're fighting like he's got a reach advantage, he's got a size advantage. Now, I can't, I have to either play at a, at a length of far or that I'm gone in and I'm really in. If I play in this middle zone with him, he's just got more and it's just like a, just in an avalanche. He just keeps, keeps folding, folding on top. So take that, so that's what, two points? Really? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> two points, right. Lucky. So gripping. Lucky this is not a, a <laughs> accounting lesson. Um, right. So the grip, that's where we're going to start. The second one is that the sleeve really is because even though if he goes, if I, if we, if he has a hand free and if I now have the inside. So now look, I have an inside grip and most times most people want to fight with an inside grip. Everyone fights for it. Everyone talks about fighting for the inside grip. But this kind of like, there's more of an emphasis if you're the smaller guy as well. Because if I go on the outside and Dave has the inside, as soon as Dave turns, there, there's nothing to stop him at all. Nothing. It's just, I may as well just do a nice break fall and wrap this, wrap this show up. So, while I've gotten the inside and gotten the second hand, the reason why is that this second hand of his does a lot of damage in terms of the pulling. So, any circular motion that he makes, has, I need to be controlling that. So if this hand's closer to my hip, it's safer for me and if I can get the in, inside grip. And maybe now we can talk about having a fair fight, maybe. But these is, this, this makes a difference. If Dave decides, right, I've had enough, and let's say I've even gotten to a point where his grip, maybe he hasn't got a super good grip and I don't have this hand, what would you do, Dave? If, if, if you had that all right grip, how would you, how, what, would you what would you be doing? Off. He'd break it off and he'd, re he'd get it again. So I think with when you're looking at being a smaller guy, or not even being a smaller guy, it's just if you're fighting someone who's bigger, don't know if they get much bigger than you, but the whole, the whole process should be the same. And it, you, it's either, again, so either we're going in or we're not going in and we're fighting from a distance or we're fighting close. We're taking control, we understand that the, what this hand can do. And I think the best thing is be, offense, be on the offense as much as you can. What do you reckon, Dave? What do you reckon about fighting small guys? You fight any really solid ones, or what was the ones that gave you, gave you trouble? So I'm six foot two, and you are? Uh, well, a metre 75, I think. Five foot nothing. In the morning. So. <laughs> and then at the minute, I'm under 100 kilos. Rob fights under 90 kilos. So only, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago, I was still fighting under 81 kilos. So I was right, right up until the age of 24, 25, I was fighting, uh, say, under 81 kilos, obviously a six foot two. And I would come across a lot of 
shorter stocky guys and sometimes the 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 length or the longer legs would definitely be an advantage i'd be able to really get across and again being a left-hander usually fighting right people it made it very easy for me to say get the grips and then if i could break this space down come for the old salty gary you know that's where i'd be um Get, yeah. getting an, an advantage over guys that are a bit smaller. Yeah. But like, like you touched on, on the, one of the, the main problems I would face would be you know, coming close and then just shorter guys locking up and then trying to take me backwards. So that was something I always, I'm always wary of yeah. when I'm fighting guys that are a little bit shorter than me, a little bit yeah. stocky. Now I'm 100 kilos, most of the guys are pretty much the same height as me that I've yeah. been, been fighting. So again, that brings uh, a different challenge. So I spent so many years working, fighting against guys that were just like a little bit shorter. Yeah. So now they're the same height. There's a little bit of a learning. Uh, there was a little bit of a learning adjustment there. Yeah. In terms of fighting short guys, I think uh, the, the gripping, like you say, you're obviously trying to get on the inside. I want here. the inside. Yeah. I want it, yeah. I'm also trying to fight on the inside, either here. Sometimes I'd come out and, even though I'm a left-hander, I'd stand. Like a right. Rightly, yeah. Yeah. So you get the the grip there, and then. Usually I take the lapel, you take the sleeve, and then from here I can pull myself in and get like a real deep grip from here and then obviously you're either looking for the coach um, yeah. which you obviously couldn't see because the camera's too high. Uh, what are we gonna do? But yeah, so yeah, I think I think like you say a lot of it comes down to the gripping. You've you've got your you've got your gripping agenda. Yeah. And you're trying to fight someone who's bigger and I've come into this with my gripping agenda yeah. because I'm fighting someone who's maybe just a little bit shorter than me. So, you know, we've got, we've got two different, if you, you know, you've got different sizes and, and, you know, if you're someone in between being short and tall and whatever that is, you know, there'd be a way that you'd want to go about the gripping strategy and your own little system is that Dave, Dave at the end of the day is a large human being and his gripping strategy is going to be his own and I have to make my own. So, yeah. Got to be a bit inventive, but look look at what other people are doing and see see if you can take anything to your game. So that's it. That's it from us. Hope you took something away from that. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Look out for yourselves. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.